Robin. Yay. Hey. And I'm Woo. back with my friends. Oh, with my wonderful friends. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. We're glad to be here with you too, Robin. Everyone but Melissa is my friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just Welcome to another wonderful episode. Tonight we have Marvania as well joining us. Good evening, everyone. And don't look behind her. It might hypnotize you into saying it's Christmas. <laughs> you should cover that till July at least. Uh, I will think about putting up the, uh, the little privacy screen. Put up a little curtain. Put no, a towel I'll, over it. I like have a fresh shield. No, uh-uh. <laughs> I'll just put my little privacy screen up. Glad to see you, Chucky. All right. We're also joined by Geoforce 2000. I yeah. like the tree. I like the tree a lot. Well, thank you. Sure. He's become one of the tree cult members. He's one of <laughs> us. One of us. Google gobble. And if you look below him, you'll see someone who's incognito tonight. Mr. Eric Breen. Not a mystery. When what? He what? what? Are we are we on? <laughs> yes, we're on. <laughs> yeah, we're on. <laughs> and to the left of him, he's now Chucky. Ah, get that off the screen. <gasps> Pixel. <laughs> See, Chucky had rainbow colors back then. Mm -hmm. We all knew it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and finally, we have Melissa because Amy decided to go somewhere else. I swear they're the same person, just using two different accents. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know we had a choice. <laughs> of what? To leave. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. No, we're we're still under contract. We can't leave. This is, hey, this one else. You know, this is a reading that never ends. It goes on and on, my Anne friends. Hey, wait a minute. You're not puppeteen. We're not Anne friends to you. One of this whole time, I was puppeteen. That explains a lot. <laughs> good cop, bad cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, it's, it's, a good. Good, sure it's a good cop. And a bad cop. Irish cops, always cops. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a share of my screen now. Sure, and we'll, you will, we'll get this reading going. Oh, we'll then. Sounds like a delight. Oh. Yes, yes. The new Teen Titans! You're too late to save your precious planet, Titans. <laughs> Nothing can survive the fury of Truman the Terrible. <laughs> Raven trembles as Truman's world suddenly appears before her like some dark, dreaded nightmare come to life. She is an empath, a feeler. Of pains, a sensor of emotions, who has known all the myriad passions from unbridled joy to heart-rending fear. But the sudden cold terror she senses here frightens her beyond any emotion she has ever felt before. <laughs> this is her father's planet. And the world she will be imprisoned on for the rest of her tortured life. Prologue. God save us. Trigon has returned. Wow, oh, it kind of looks like yeah, he'll learn. Harrison Ford with a beard. Yeah, it kind of does. Help! 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 Oh, Linden! <laughs> Or what's good? Let's Hail, hail Trigon, hail Pfeiffer, hail the governor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, the new Teen Titans. All right, narrator, who you did this, or did it let us know? No, there's no. nothing last time. Dang. 
Those prattling dolts below us are my chattel. They <laughs> exist only to obey my slightest whim. Should they annoy you, should their very presence perturb you, <laughs> I will destroy them where they stand. That is the dorkiest horn design for our villain. It really is. It's like deer. Yeah, it's like it's like up. it's like Bullwinkle. Yeah. Their eyes are so empty of hope. All I sense of them is fear. What manner of world has my father created? <laughs> Woman, smile at the governor. <laughs> yeah, keep in line, you spineless maggots. You all are here to welcome the home of the governor. Yeah, the governor. The governor. <laughs> Sing his praises to him or die, scum. Oof. I'm still not sure why my emissaries are wearing assless chat. Oh, wait a minute. I I do know why. I know, yeah, you, <laughs> you know why. True. You failed to speak, daughter. What do you think of Truman's world? <laughs> there is no joy here, father. No love. These people are your slaves. And they fear you. They should be set free. Well, there's no joy in Mudville either because mighty Casey struck out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Poor Mudville. They serve no purpose other than serving me. Now you scum, salute the governor as he passes. Ignore them, daughter. Their lives are as meaningless to us as the life of an insect. Why am I wearing adult diapers? <laughs> yeah, Governor, wait till we get our hands on you. I am an embarrassment as a big bad. Yes, you are. <laughs> Mother, is he the Governor? He's, he's a monster. Silence, Rhea. If Trigon hears you. She called me a monster, did she? Oh, crap, Joe Biden might notice me. <laughs> Master, governor, uh, 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 governor, she doesn't know what she's saying. She's only a child. <laughs> Relax, woman. I'm not going to sniff her hair. <laughs> Age means nothing to Biden. I, I mean, Truman. Oh, boy. <laughs> From the moment you are born, I demand your total obedience, your complete subservience. You are to be taught that I am your God that I hold your very life in my hands. And you will learn to watch the view without disgust <laughs> and to view me with the respect I demand. <laughs> What is he doing to the girl? <laughs> I think he's sniffing her hair. Oh, no. I he promised. He my hair. Master. Uh -uh. Uh, governor, please. I beg of you. Show her mercy. Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> Father, I can sense the pain you are causing her. Stop it. Say, stop it. Please. 
please, master? Yeah. <laughs> governor? Governor? Anything you want from me, I will give you my life. I'll give you. I will give you. Take my life. Just please spare hers. Man, he's really cracking the whip tonight. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Trigon. Truman. You don't yes. you care what you're doing to her. Her blood. It boils. Truman? It's not boiling. It's in cold blood. Whoa. Lessons must be taught. Discipline must be maintained. And if you kill everybody, you can only blame yourself. It will be maintained without having to kill her. For God's sake, Father, stop. Please stop. No. I'm wearing a diaper. I have to kill people to be taken seriously. Think of all just wear real clothes. <laughs> she is tired, but she's a child. Her death is immoral, and I cannot let you do this. No matter what you might do to me, please, if you can help her, I can only try. That mother, my powers are those of an empath. The power to draw pain away from the child. To draw it into me. Holy crap, she aged. Yep. Yeah. She's melting. Uh, Ooh. Governor, maybe we shouldn't do this. Yeah. Hey, is that the guy from Ghostbusters? Maybe. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. We're pain, aren't we? Yeah, we give you shocks, electric shocks. That's all right. Help me. The pain is too great. Oh my God, my skin boils. My flesh crawling. So very painful. Uh, too much. It hurts too much. I don't know if I can expel the pain, but I must. You make me so weak. So drained, but I am whole. And the child still lives. Take her away now, teach her, and above all, love her. Thank you. Thank you. A wasted display of your powers, Raven. I still will not permit anyone to dispute my authority. <laughs> <laughs> and he kills the girl again. He probably does. <laughs> does he, does he, he actually does kill the girl, doesn't he? Yeah. Not even you. All right, redo. We're going to have Miranda play little kid. Whoosh. <laughs> <Really? Oosh. laughs> no! Look, Bob, I'm the human torch. Now, Raven, <laughs> let us go to my castle. There is still much of my somebody clean up these ashes. <laughs> and much much you must know. My God. My, my God. <clears throat> Raven is speechless as she is led through the grimy, teeming streets towards Truman's in their castle key. What castle? <laughs> she is drained, lost, helpless, and unable to cope with her overwhelming, overwhelming evil her father embodies. You disapprove, daughter. But you will learn. You will learn. <laughs> Rager, that's so Mitch McConnell looks these days. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to flee, to race back to Earth, 
but staying prisoner here on Truman's world is the was the pledge she made to save the earth from Truman's murderous wrath. And so, tears streaming from her steel gray eyes, she plods hopelessly onward. Page four. <laughs> You are my daughter, and therefore a god like myself, and far above the rabble whom we command. <clears throat> they are hardly worth our attention, let alone our discussing the value of their lives. Zaya! Your dark horse have returned from Xanadu. The reports are unrest. And the proper preparations have been made. Preparation H is at your throne, sir. Good, because I'm tired of wearing this diaper. Indeed, sire. This is Xanadu's queen. Oh. Will she serve you? A comely wench. If I were straight, I would appreciate her. <laughs> Soon to be the last of her race. Yes, prepare her for tonight. She will do. Wow. Somebody else, because I don't like girls. <laughs> they have cooties. Now then, drool. What seems to be the problem? Same guy. This proclamation, Master. Hey! The <laughs> governor, Master, Master Governor. The Xanadus demand that. I'm going to try The Xanadus demand your dark horse leave their planet immediately. They further demand that you pay for the damage your hordes have already inflicted. My hordes? <laughs> Very well, Drool. We will order my darklings to depart. What? You're going to allow the Xanadus to make demands? Wow, before there were guess there was Dark Side, there was Trigon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want that gun, dude. That's cool. They're the same guy. <laughs> of course not, Drool. But I do not want my armies to die with Xanadu scum. Xanadu. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still me? I believe so. Yes, yes. Fools. The cosmic cannon is primed, your governor. Do you wish to operate the controls? Now we are here in Xana. Oh. <clears throat> oh my gosh, if this was a, a Simpsons skit, that would be Mo. Yep, yep. I do drool all over myself. <clears throat> Twice in one day, lessons must be taught. <clears throat> How disappointing. Not as disappointing as you not know how to wear a shirt properly. Or watch it. I learned from Kurt Angle or Kirk Angel. Perhaps I have been too lenient of late. Drool, order my dark whores to increase the number of sacrifices they demand from each planet. Yes, it's my dark hoarders. Okay. Perhaps my subjects need to be reminded. Truman is not to be toyed with. 
Uh-oh. He destroyed Krypton. <laughs> Xanadu was so fragile a world. I wonder if the Earth will be so be destroyed so easily. Earth, but you said if you came, if I came to your world, you'd leave the Earth alone. Earth, but you said no. Wait, hey, what? No, that that, that that's not that's that's it was just yeah, that's cool. She read her line. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you believed me, Raven? Oh, yeah. Bitch, yeah. please. That's so Raven. <laughs> Surely you must now realize that I lied. I merely wanted you off the earth so you would not die with the rest of these magas. Please, Joe Biden. I spent 20 years trying to pierce the barriers to invade your dimension. And all I ended up with was dementia. And this lousy underwear. Surely you could not have believed I would so willingly abandon that quest. And yes, I called you Shirley. Yes, yes you did believe, didn't you? That's so Raven daughter my god you take after your mother you're an idiot ah well <laughs> every family must have its fool you're it prologue I... now ends so dear is... god that was just the prologue yeah, yeah. I, know, right? uh, I mean his farts are deadly look at that yeah <laughs> jeez no oh, wow. yeah. Last kill. Let's see if it goes any goes up. No, yeah. So, oh, can you read that part? Oh, I'll read it for you. The upper right corner. Oh, swear. Oh, God, it. Hang on. I, I can, uh... What? Hey, she's gone with that grinning devil, and we let her go. What? I mean, I was, I was well, re- talk- Wait, I wasn't talking to you. I was oh, talking to Breed. Oh. Upper right corner <laughs> box. Oh, I was asking I didn't you. Hear that part. Elsewhere, the Shirley Temple Azeroth now stands in ruin, wrenched, wrenched from its very foundation during Truman's earth-shaking battle with the Titans. You want to read the title down too? <coughs> I said last kill. Uh, yep. Just, just make sure you read it again. I'm you weren't listening. Yes. Nobody yes. was children of the night. It, uh, Mr. Mr. Narrator of the night. Yes. Who is the who are the co creators of this story? That would be Marv Wolfman and George Perez. And Roy Punch. Uh who is uh There will be no more of that. <laughs> who is the guest inker? That would be Pablo Marcos. And who is credit the taken by Roy Thomas? I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for this. Uh, the letter? That would be John Costanza. And who is the colorist? Nobody cares. <laughs> wow, I'm shocked that they're going to say not sack. <laughs> <laughs> and who is the editor? Uh, that would be Len Wine. Len, I never drink wine. Len, your wine. Now you enlarge it. Well, only this part, because yeah. it normally doesn't. It, it doesn't do that. Okay, Flash. She's gone with that grinning devil, and we let her go. You know we had to. We had no choice, Flash. I mean, Kid Flash. Sorry. It was Raven's own decision. She's an independent woman. Put some pants on. You're embarrassing us. At least I wear magic colors. (laughs) (laughs) What? (laughs) Trigon was not invincible. We could have defeated him. I feel ashamed to allowing Raven to go with him. 
but we did our best, Goldie. Let's face it, fighting Trigon isn't exactly the same as taking on the Muppets. Oh. It's good when they weren't fighting Truman. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah. We did our best. <laughs> Only our, our best wasn't good enough. I got me a sick feeling, Greeny. Maybe we Titans just don't measure up. Huh, no, we're good. Very good. And there's no shame in losing to someone stronger. We've got to regroup, rethink our strategy, find the best ways to channel our strengths. Hey, look what's grown up now. <laughs> uh-huh. Again! <laughs> Why do you grieve, Arilla? Your daughter raving. Did this is you tired of her. Though she has always rebelled against us, in the end, she returned to our teachings of passivity. But still, she has gone, gone to the hell that is Truman's world, Truman's world, and I will never see her again. I don't know. That's you. <laughs> Why she left her team to go see because I ain't in competing, Truman. You know, she would not be permitted to return to Azarath. Still, she is my daughter, and I mourn her loss. <laughs> is that all you is that all you're gonna do? Leave Raven to rot on Truman's planet? We can still save her! We will fight for her life. And her right to party! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's... There will be no fighting. Raven sacrificed her life for the life of this world. It's over. Bullshackies! No <laughs> way it's over. Not yet. Hey! Don't push it! He's just going for it. He sure did. <laughs> Don't push it, Flasheroo. At what? least not at least not here. What? Hey dude, you're about three years off. Chill or no. Five years off. Chill out. Don't tell me you're gonna leave Raven behind. <gasps> no, but can't you see this? These people won't help us. And is my hair red, blonde, or brown? Make up your mind. Then we will make them help us. We have the power to do whatever we want. Oh, dear God, woman, don't! But I must, Robin. I must all, I, I above all, know what it's like to be someone's prisoner. I know the degradations, the horrors of what you, that you face. And I will not allow friend Raven to suffer the way I suffered those six long years as a slave of the Citadel. <laughs> and dead servants. servant. <laughs> Too, too many unnecessary syllables. <laughs> I, I mean, degradations. Look at the way you dressed out. Indentured servant. <laughs> Please, Coriander, don't. Hey, well, <laughs> you, you can hurry up. <laughs> Please, Coriander, don't. We can't force these priests to go against their beliefs. And we cannot allow Raven to suffer by our inaction. Maybe there's another way. Quick, to my bedroom. Uh-huh. Raven said the temple has a wrath. Now, it normally existed between dimensions. And that means you have the power to take us where we want to go. And right now, I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to violate your oaths. But will you just like show us what to do? Ooh, ooh. No, look at him. No, no, look at him, Robin. We don't do anything to help us or Raven. He won't do anything to help us or Raven. <laughs> Ready, Marania? Flash! Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, you want to, Raven? You want to do this? Or. Uh, <gasps> He does not understand, but we are used to such ignorance. 
<clears throat> Maybe you shouldn't have done this. We're gonna we're gonna go hour three tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Long ago, we learned to pass out in pre incinerant contaminants. <laughs> <laughs> we got more violence. Look, we're a people ourselves. What do you see behind your passions? <laughs> Holy crap, it's like having a senior trustee here. <laughs> Robin? Or not Robin, I'm uh, being. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Sure. Flesh. sure, you're at peace with yourself. You don't care about anyone else but man you were going to let Tr truman take over your whole blasted universe just so you could reverse your blasted inner peace mister you sicken me what are you little shit? <laughs> <laughs> to be totally to be totally passive does not create peace it is the breeding ground for subjugation <laughs> she's right mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's bringing a bottle nice, back. She's got a nice rack, too, huh? Okay. That I just like that. She says, she says subjugation. You look at the guy behind her. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. You talk of subjugation, of indentured servitude. But what do you know of the destruction and indentured servitude of the mind and soul? Listen to my story, and mayhap you will better understand this war. What's this one woman talking about? Sure, if you. It, it began 20 years ago. I was late cleaning, confused, very alone, and searching for answers to questions like... Sergeant Pepper taught his boys. band to play. How old is she? <laughs> 38? Yeah, she's only 38. I rejected religion, embraced the occult. Don't ask me why. It just seemed right. Oh, God, how wrong I was. Witchcraft, Satanism, and tits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Get another panel. Oh, there she's going. There she's going into the rituals. Yes, yes. Perhaps out of boredom, or perhaps looking for some sort of miracle. All I need is you. I joined a satanic cult. Then one night, there was a ceremony, and I was offered up as the bride of, si of Chucky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. Because maybe you're out of boredom? You join Satan? Yeah. <laughs> Shit, white people. <laughs> <laughs> Women, am I right, fellas? <laughs> oh shit! Look, it's Zach. <laughs> Though I cannot understand why now I went along with them willingly, perhaps when you are desperate. Anyway, they began their chance, and the skies grew dark, thick with thunder and crackling with black lightning. Wait, I've seen this before. Quantum Leap. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Doesn't it? Okay. They summoned Sam Beckett. No! <laughs> An image appeared. Certainly not an image of evil. He was magnificent. The living embodiment of so many of my unspoken dreams. These dreams. I reached up to him, took his hands, and he spoke to me in a deep, warm, velvet voice. Oh, my, here we go. <laughs> Yo, what's up, baby? <laughs> Uh oh. Ooh, scary. Oh, mama. He's actually gay. I cannot lie. I love him. I love him. I, lo I love you, Cliff. Cliff? I love you, Cliff. I love you. I loved him, cherished him, worshipped him. He took me as his bride, and we were married by the priest of Chucky. Mr. Sheffield. Insane. <laughs> oh my. Oh. <laughs> and perhaps for the first time in a life filled with loneliness, I felt loved and cared for and wanted. Oh my. I took job. We were man and wife. 
evil one lovers the dreamers and me and that first night's deep passions didn't fade with the coming of the day but each time I, I gazed in those sweet tender eyes i felt more and more enthralled enthralled what an act void enthralled i should have known i should have guessed but fool that i was i was like i was acting like a guy i wanted to believe someone cared She's my lover right. my lover the one who i thought was like some god sent down to earth to save me turned out to be evil and connor he turned out to be truman capote <laughs> he was vicious savage the most hideous creature god could have created if indeed he was created by God, not Chucky himself. Well, the good thing we know is he wasn't Justin Trudeau because he wouldn't have done anything. Yes, that is true. Satan cannot create. Just saying. This is true. true. To him, I was, oh, he sent Kim now. To him, I was nothing. Less than nothing. He did whatever he wanted with me. He can't pin me. <laughs> then we, when he was done, he cast me aside like some useless rag. You bastard. Actually, it wasn't rag. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, honey. If I can even remember the pain once more knots my stomach, and that sickness I felt then returns, those were terrible, terrible days. They weren't any picnic for me either. I bet they were. <laughs> you know, Mama never said there'd be days like this. This is whack. Yeah, there's days like this, my mama said. You must understand, my mother abandoned me and boys, not even knowing who my father was. Hello, mother. Hello, father. I became a ward of the state, shunted from uncaring family to uncaring family. I longed for love, any love, for so very long. And when I thought I'd have found it... <sighs> He exhales sadly, then continues. Truman banished me to the oath, and I watched the cult I had joined destroyed before my eyes. So again, I was all alone, but this time with a child growing within me. And the dreaded knowledge that my child's father was Truman Capote himself. Yeah, it was Rose Mary's baby. <laughs> I sought counseling, but all state agencies rejected me. My own fears? Truman? I honestly don't know. Ma'am, this is a Wendy's. Give you. But nothing could help me. Then at last I knew what to do, for the only answer seemed to be death. Oh, this is getting super dark, man. Mm -hmm. It is a DC universe. Yeah, but damn, that's dark. I, mean, I was scared. So very scared. As I took the, these sleeping pills and I lay down in a, in a dark, deserted alley, alleyway, waiting for death to claim me. You will laugh, I'm sure, but suddenly the darkness seemed to lift. The air seemed to shimmer in that alley that I had found, I had, I had found to be my deathbed. And she became a blonde. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the light shining on her hair. Mm -hmm. There was an unearthly glow that I thought was the light of God himself shining down on me. And inside the light, there was the figure of a man. Uh-oh, another man. I don't know about this, dude. He touched me. Uh-oh, me too. No consent. And I, <laughs> I took his hand. Why did you do that, you dummy? She and I went with him. I will follow him. Back into the light, which closed even as I stepped through. I was leaving this world behind, and never once did I think of looking back. And Oscar the Grouch witnessed the whole entire thing. Yes, he did. <laughs> I was brought to Azeroth and taught a new way of life, a way to expunge all my feelings of hate and greed and all the more basic violent emotions. The priest gave me a new life, and not since the day I came here have I ever regretted that that coming. They nurtured me, taught me, and in, in nine months later, Raven was born. A more lovely child had never graced the world. 
And then I sold it to Nickelodeon. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lovely yet frightening, for she avoided the priest. More comfortable in meditation than in prayer. Though she was raised in a piece of Azeroth, her heritage boiled with the rage of Truman <laughs> Capote. That face. Oh, ha. He yeah, closes is. two eyes, but his other eyes are still open. <laughs> yep, yep. That is weird looking, man. And we all sense that difference. The child grew and rebelled. Uh, and is that, oh, is that still her? Because the little guy said in front of her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, old man. Here we all sense the difference. The child grew and rebelled. Because of the question of regulations. It was inevitable that one day she would leave us. It was going to leave the Temple of Nazareth. You can never return. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys watch it on, on, on uh, three times the speed or less, it go really slow. Yep, yep. Yo, enough of this history bullshit. So now <laughs> we know the what woman was rotten. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, what does that have to do with Seven Raven? She, uh -huh. She's still stuck in that other dimension with her, whatever else. She may have already done already, lady. She's still your kid. Or maybe when you get involved in all this cosmic hoo-ha, things like that don't matter no more. Saber! Getting black rage will not help anybody. Operations, bitch. I want my and reparations. And we can't calm, Will? No, Robin. For a the time for words has passed. We have a battle to wage. The battle for Raven's life. Uh, I have to agree, Rob. While we dawdle here, Raven's suffering. <laughs> Get ready to slap a bitch there. <laughs> oh, yeah, he does not like to <laughs> slap the money. Listen, I want to help her as much as you do. But we still don't have to. We still have to be shown the way to Raven's new world. It's a new spinoff series. <laughs> Saving Raven. Will you do that <laughs> much for us? Will you? Come on, you can't resist a guy in Speedos. <laughs> we will do the unknown. You will do the rest. <laughs> I swear. Your last battle will not be here. We'll be happy to do it again. You, we'll you, <clears throat> you want to see home was naked? I don't know how that's going to help us. Is that that's old guy still? I, I, he didn't wear, he didn't. yeah, this would have soft, so yeah. <laughs> well, how's it going? <laughs> we know I'll try to long before he learns. Of our world, so more than a century ago, we governed the secrets of. Dimensional travel! We use those secrets to transport little Gregor between our dimensions. And that pathway lies behind Jim Morrison and the doors. Open the door! Any words we guess. But I warn you, it's not a bad problem danger. Problem danger. Problem, problem, problem danger. We'll risk it. But not alone, Robin. I, I will join you as your guide. <laughs> but the Rella, if you leave, you know our rules. I know. You had to, you had to make the sandwiches before. I already <laughs> did that. I know, but Soy Borg is correct. Despite all else, that's so Raven is my daughter. But Nickelodeon's so powerful. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and though I will not violate my teachings here, I cannot allow her to be harmed. To take a look with you, Errol, in her prayers, for every single one when we meet. Oh, wow. It basically says you're good, you're dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Get the fuck out of here. You sure, of, you sure of this? I mean, you're giving up on everything you ever wanted. No, I'm not certain this is the right thing to do. But I am sure it's the only thing I can do. 
Then Kid Flash asked for sandwiches. Forty of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's easy enough to do. Then I brought you a drink, I'm like, I mean, the pizza you coming over here in Nazareth. Be with you always. We can fuck out of here. Wow. On TV, aren't you? It was on TV. So, endless space, a gulf between worlds. It's like being in limbo, but we don't know yeah. if we're canceled or if we're still getting another season. Yep, yep. And yet, we seek to somehow breathe here. And they had stairs and everything. Yep, yep. And then the, then the earth cooled. That's the came, they got big and fat and turned into oil. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's simply awesome! Ooh. I came to play! <laughs> Steps leading between all the dimensions. Yo, shit. Steps my butt. They think I'm moving. If I didn't know better, I'd say we were on some kind of cosmic escalator. Only someone should have warned me to take some drama, drama main, drama mine. Drama main. Drama main. You had a nice time. Is that for like uh, air signals or something? Yeah, it's, it's her, it's her oh, most yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, uh, it's great that you're here, MK. I thought you left. No, no, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, who assigned him roles that would have him silent for? I didn't minutes? read this before. I just not. <laughs> he didn't give it to himself. Yeah, actually, he chose Beast Boy. Remember? <clears throat> yeah. A pathway between dimensions. Yeah. So I never, I never suspected <laughs> such a thing existed. You look worried, yeah. Richard. I am Coriander. <laughs> We're on our way to see the wizard. Uh huh. <laughs> and fight something almost unknown. Something so obscene. Something. Named Truman, and I don't know if we're, we're like up to it yet. If we really stand a chance against fighting Truman, also, I think after this issue, I'm probably gonna put some pants on. <coughs> Yo, I'm starting to feel better about this, Logan. Something tells me we're gonna make it. Me being the black man, I'll survive this, right? <laughs> Then why are my knees shaking so much? They can turn better. That's racist. <laughs> We're almost there, Arella. How do you feel? I so many bad memories I would have preferred forgotten. Return to haunt me now of Niles and that one witchy white woman that used to work for Mr. Sheffield. Claudia? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Hey, it's narration. <clears throat> narration. Oh, <laughs> the void is warm about them, but there is a dark chill radiating from the great crimson planet that looms ahead. They are silent as their feet touch the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> they are silent and... <laughs> As their feet touch the harsh, rocky ground, as the cosmic stairway to heaven becomes broad steps curved from Mountain Stone, or Stone Mountain, Georgia, where Jerry Blackwell is from. <laughs> Arella shudders, trying to shake away the feeling of dread that seems omnipresent. She says nothing, hoping the others will not sense that which so worries her. <clears throat> Logan. He's boy. Oh, okay. Wow, I can turn out uh, that bubble there. So this is Trigon's planet, huh? Ooh. Not exactly your neighborhood holiday inn. So what now, woman? You got a gold crow on here? I'm hungry. Mm-hmm. Trigon has many castles, yet I sense ravens presence in that direction. We go there. See, I know how to give directions. You guys can't give directions. No wait, happens. wait, wait. He's got more than one castle? Oh, sorry. We're going up against King Koopa. Yeah, we are. 
something tell me this this is this is it man we're gonna have to fight for every inch a bucket of chicken <laughs> maybe not well you'll probably eat all of it because he's a little bitch hey and if, you see, and if you see truman get back here fast run wally run Pal, if I see that big red bozo, believe me, you'll know. But if I see Raven, then I'm going to move heaven and earth to save her. Lord, even after all she did to me, I I still love her. And I want her to know <clears> that before I lose her again. Simp. <laughs> But then, holy hell, what? Oh, yeah, drop the ball. You should right. have said Hannah Montana. <laughs> or Hannah Barbera. <laughs> or Hannah Storm. Or, or Hannah Barbera or Montana. Or Hannah Banana. Ho 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 Hokey Smokies. <clears throat> My daughter's friends. Uh, you're hey, going to what? what? I'm sorry, my daughters <laughs> and friends. So you bring the battle to my world, eh? <laughs> Yet you back away from me. You fear me. Not you, Big Red. That overgrown Benji there. Fang, Fang upsets you, <laughs> eh? Very well, Fang. Sit. Boo boo, sit. <laughs> Good dog. Woof. Boo boy. What does he eat? Cycle twelve. Someone explain that to me. What the hell is cycle twelve? That's a kind of dog food. Yeah. Oh, depending yeah. on the health and, that, and, age that, would, of the dog. and that would have been that would have been beast, beast boy, by the way. Kind yeah. of looks like Scooby Doo on steroids. Okay. Actually, I, I, you <clears> no, <throat> I think it is cyborg. Yeah. Okay. okay. What, yeah. Okay. I see only six of you, yet you believe you can topple my empire. We don't care about your Kelvin Klein empire, Truman. All we want is Raven. We, we want her back in the USSR, right? Back in the USSR. You were willing to fight for her. We will even give you Donna instead. <laughs> She's going to die in a few years anyway. Right? <laughs> well, are you also willing to die for her? For you shall. Just like the reviews for my last book. <laughs> Just as your world will die. For even now, my dark horse prepare for battle. Wait, did you say whores? Silent, <laughs> silent D. <laughs> Arc whores. Is this supposed that to be me? That does it, mister. I can't tell if that's me or you, so. That, that, wait, that. wait. I guess all of us. I guess, yeah. It's all together, friends. That is New York City. Oh, like if it was Robin, I don't know. Yeah, what? Okay, that. Okay, just do it in there. That is it, mister. Now the pants are coming off. They are not. We were ready when you fought us the first time, but I brought lube. It's dark lube? Okay. Oh, huh. We didn't lube. have anything to really fight for, but now we fight for the Earth. Titans, hit them. You first, Wally. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> hey. Fools. <laughs> what the fuck is this I love it. The dog is yawning, man. He's like, he's so bo he's so bored. What does it say? BLM? Blamo. Oh. <laughs> Blamo. Blamo. And as the titans fall unconscious to the ground, 
uh, give us um, MK Tomorrowlands. Hmm? Yeah, read. Oh, Dude. that guy? Who is that guy? Oh, whatever. Anybody, just stick it to us. Master! Oh, <laughs> oh, you failed. That's why I don't give you lines. Oh, okay. I got one. MK, Governor, you have Master, failed you this reading. <laughs> Governor, your daughter has escaped her cell. There you go. Escaped. Wow. And you were her guard. Why do they all look like Prince Valiant? It's a fetish of mine. Oh, it's a, okay. They're wearing hoods. I thought it was his hair. <laughs> but, but, Sire, there is another woman. She used some sort of spell. She flashed you. See, this is why I don't like women. I am not concerned with why you permitted her to escape. Mm -mm. The fact exists. That concerns me. That and the incompetence of my Imperial Guard. Fortunately, that is a problem easily corrected. Sorry, Marania. I knew you wanted this role. Ah. No, I didn't really. Who's a good boy? Now, you others find my daughter, bring her to me, or also risk arousing me <laughs> and my wrath. Yeah. Yes, Governor. We will find her. We swear. Do not swear. This is a family comic. I swear if I, I want to. Swear if I want to. You red bastard. The alleyway is dark and filled with crawling dark shadows. This might be your mother. And this is the mother? Yep. Yeah, Raven, we can rest. Just a moment to catch your breath, then we must continue. Mother, you always told me, warned me that it was evil. But how could I possibly imagine such evil could exist? It overwhelmed my empathic soul. It made me ill, ill in measure. Rest your mind, Raven. We both have to rest our minds. We've been thinking a lot this this issue. <laughs> Forget. Try to calm your thoughts. Thank we can God. all try to. Thank Don't God, you're not going to try to drive too. Oh, hey, Chucky's not. Arg! <laughs> My lord is off. That horrible scream. It is the wail of tortured souls crying out in agony. There's a woman driving! Run! Hi, <laughs> uh -oh. souls and more. The world turns deep scarlet with the blood of pedestrians run over by women drivers. <laughs> the color of thick, rich blood is great gray. Packards and other old cars driven by women scream skyward. Vomiting streams of wildfire, Tommy Rich. <laughs> no one's old enough to get that one. Like mad reapers, they cut through the darkening skies, searching for the one that our governor has commanded them to find. A safe woman driver. Good luck, demons. I good, good neighbor. Steve Farm is nowhere here. Neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> Nothing stops them. Not traffic signals. Not stop signs. Not curbs. They shall sorry. Not mighty stone buildings. <laughs> well, that kind of fit, actually. Nor the plaintive pleas of the thousands who fall like wheat before this. Well, they're really making it easy. Sigh. They're after us, Mother. Dragon will have them will have them destroy everything until he finds us. I just want to point out that Rhaegar said 
Uh, your bitey brain. Ah, uh, yes. A little girl melting uh, is a hallmark of a family comic. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So there. Aza, I feel all those cries, all that pain. We cannot stand by any longer. We have to stop the suffering while we can. Yes, you must defeat Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. Dragon, hear me. I call to you now. Papa, I turn myself you... over to you. Just stop the senseless slaughter. Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> uh, then I'll take the line, I guess. No. Then hold my hand and pray with me, Raven. When Truman comes, we will be beyond. Uh, was it? I have to look prayer. Prayer. Beyond prayer, beyond hope. You pray for both of us. I cannot allow this carnage to continue a moment more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is stopped, daughter, and I am here. Truman Capaldi. Yes, Arella, my one-time bride. And now, before the, you two can delay my operations any longer. No, Truman, I won't allow you to destroy us and make us one of your properties. What? You defy your sacred oath of Cavett and resist me? Mm-hmm. I return to your world to save Raven. And I'll do anything to prevent ER destroying her. Go, that so Raven. Find your aunt's friends. Send them against Truman Capote before it's too late. And so Raven runs. She ran so far away. <laughs> and she ran. Into hour two. <laughs> ah, yes, we missed my... While Arella strains to keep her mystic shield before her, but then the strain overtakes her. Julie strain? She, she is dead, Jim. Aww. She feels herself weakened, if only for a moment. But with with Truman, even a moment is much too long. Mm -hmm. Find the Titans, but where? Triton defeated them. They could be in any of his dungeons. And I cannot seem to, to separate their their emanations from all the others of the on this. What? He hunted me down so swiftly? What did he do to my mother? Concern yourself with what I shall do to you. Uh. I'm going to make you a swan. Uh-uh. You, my only offspring, ever to survive to adulthood. You, my only child, not to be slain by some lunatic protesting my rule. I want you beside me, daughter, to rule with me. Never. When I first came here, I did not realize what you were truly like. I could no more stand beside you than I could stand beside Satan himself. Truman stares into Raven's grim gray eyes, realizing that she would first kill herself before serving him. He draws a long, deep breath before deciding what to do next. But... Yeah. You might have controlled me, Trigon, but you would not extend your evil to my daughter. What? I feel weak. But how? Who? Arella. It could only be her. Damn me for not slaying her when I melted that little kid. 
in this family comic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mother, but how? Beep, beep. Azimuth taught me many things, Raven. How to increase my empathic powers from simply drawing out pain to tapping the very core of the soul itself. But I cannot hold him for long. He fights me, resists me, and his powers far overshadow mine. Go, that's a raven. Hurry, Tiran friends. Let me guide you to them now while there still is time. Dragon, uh, uh, Truman's breast seethes with anger as he struggles <laughs> against the forces which try to oppress him. Then at long last, gone. Both of them are gone now. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I could hunt them down, destroy them, but why bother? Let them waste their time hiding. For while they do, I will move my arc whores into <laughs> their dimension and rule their universe as well. Meanwhile, in the land of bondage. Oh, my. George Perez be praised. Yes. He had his kinks. That man. Mm -hmm. As art be praised, these are my end friends, and I sense the spark of life still burning within them. They live! They live! Oh, hey, hyper tier? Yes. <laughs> oh my Sil God. <laughs> Silently, solemnly, Raven reaches first for Robin, taking off his tunic for some unbeknownst <laughs> reason. <laughs> Her long fingers throwing forth his pain. That's what we're calling it. Uh -huh. Then. Lower. Oh, my. Lower. Raven. Inside my front pocket. Down way below. <laughs> Hurry, please. <laughs> Calm yourself, my end friend. I can't. I've never been this too close to a girl before. Mm -hmm. It's Just always Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> For this key will not only free our fellow titans, but free our dimensions from the horrors of Truman Capote's rule. <laughs> Thank you. But elsewhere, the skies fairly scream with rage. The power flows through me now. The power to strip away the barriers that stand between dimensions. Mm -mm. That's wow, special. looks like Philadelphia in New York right now. Yep, yep. The barriers will crumble. They will fall. And when I walk through them again, this time my arc horse will follow. <laughs> For 20 years, I have awaited this moment. Behold, the planet Earth, my first step in the conquering of a new dimension. It stands lonely, defenseless, for what few heroes they possess will find themselves helpless to prevent their world's destruction. Mm -hmm. It's got a bee on his stomach. Mm -hmm. I guess it stands for Barry. He's a Barry. It stands for it stands for badass. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, it stands for bondage. Yeah, that too. But, uh oh. Or but. But hurry, all of you. No. Go out. The oh, that's 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 the Raven. Uh, hurry, all of you. My father is ready to break through the dimensional walls. Break on through to the, the other, other side. side. Mm -hmm. Starfire, you're getting a little closer. Uh-huh. That's you. 
Oh yeah. That's you, Flash. He was expecting us. We've got company. Right. Meow. Oh. <laughs> That's this beast boy. Stop. Let me handle Bowser. <laughs> Show you up, do it, Logan. Yeah, what's a little pooch to a guy who can change shape? Hey, Massey, want to hear any shaggy dog stories? <laughs> nah, I didn't think you would. Why, why does it sound like a cat? <laughs> Better. Butter. Butter, butter, butter. Thank you, Zaw. You've come, Raven. Time grows too short. Raven, tell me what your plan is. You sure to work? It must be Wallace. It's our only hope. We add all powers to your own, and prayer is enough to do what must be done. And I'm going to share him with my daughter. Oh my gosh! Wow! It's a fun wow. mother-daughter sandwich. Yep, yep, yep. What are we waiting for, Robin? Trigon is within our grasp. Oh, geez. Hey, is this Robin? Or is it? That's yeah, that's Robin. Robin. Okay, to be sure. <laughs> why, is his, why is his hand on the back of a uh, cyborg? I don't know. It's there, there, son. You're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> if we attack now, we're doomed. <laughs> Raven said we would only defeat him by working as one. Mm -hmm. Everyone, like, get next to each other really close. Uh huh. I tried to take my pants off, as you could tell. Uh huh. We've got to link our powers together. Earth, wind, <laughs> fire, fire, heart, earth, yeah. love, <laughs> love, Planet. Ah, single effort is all that will work. Cyborg, your internal power supply, can it be hooked in with, with like another power source? Yo. Believe it, your pants. I'm like a living power battery. Then we'll link you with Starfire. Focus her power through you as well. Huh? What? Like, okay, I didn't know this was a thing I could do. All right, let's. Wonder Girl, your magic lasso is like Wonder Woman's. It can be like used to sap. Uh, Truman's Capote's will. Yeah. Ah, gotcha, Rob. Already moving out. Huh, this works on ordinary mortals, but can it possibly affect him? No. <laughs> Supposed to start spinning, increasing my, inter my inner vibrational rate. But to do what they want. No, I that's, got, this, this, that's, this, that's Flash. That's Wally. That's Flash. That makes sense. I just sound like. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, the, the bubble fooled me. Yeah, oh, that's Wally. Yeah, got you. It, You're right. It, they're combining their love with him. Oh no! Are you sure it's not Raven? No, no, no. no. Vibrations. That's that's that's. He's like, saying oh, move okay. faster than he ever has before. Yeah, it's it's like her word bubble style, but it, it is, is. It, because yeah. they're combining her powers I with him. Talking that would help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to start spinning, increasing my inner vibrational rate. Wow, but to do that, uh, but to do what they want, I've got to move faster than I've ever moved before. Got to move fast. Give me a circle. I will remember you. Remember me. Derp -a -derp -a -derp -a -derp. Hi, you. Truman. I'm sorry. I was watching all the Battle of the Belts. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't need one. No, no. 
you begin your attack and you delay my plans. I will not permit such effrontery. I prefer ebacery. Well, yeah, that, uh, not much on the front or anyway. I know, I'm bitter. Yes. <clears throat> Yet suddenly I feel my strength fading again. Irela, it must be her. Damn that woman driver. <laughs> comes the knife. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Ah, thank her. Ah. Let's see this is. Uh, we got their plan. Is see, their plan is working. <coughs> Together, we are weakening Trigon. It may yet be possible for Wonder Girl to further dampen his will. It must work, daughter. It must. Tears stream down Raven's face as she digs deeper, ever deeper, into her own soul. The pain almost overwhelms her, but still she must tap all her empathic strength. Huh. We waken Trigon, Truman Capote, mm -hmm. while Flash wields his increased super speed to rip open the doorway to the nether voice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to explain it. Mm hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> ah, Minerva be praised. There's, oh my God, there's the hole, but Truman Capote's resisting me. <laughs> well, I mean, it would work better I, if it is. I oh. resist all women. But you, you, you don't I mean, it would work a lot better if the rope was actually around his whole entire body. But yeah, this not. is true. I think he just grabbed but it. He's tugging him into it. Neat. Attacked on all sides. <laughs> my power being drained. Still, I shall rise to destroy you all. What are we waiting for, Robin? Yes. Quiet, woman. I'll tell you when to open fire. Sweat beads Robin's forehead as he counts the precious moments. This must be perfectly timed. Everything must be coordinated to attack Truman at his weakest. Robin... I can fight. I no longer fight on. Do it, Robin. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Do it. The teen wonder draws in a long, hot breath. Oh, my. Everything now depends on his commands. Huh? It's better than commanding your depends. Mm -hmm. He waits, sees his fellow titans straining beyond all limits of endurance. Then, when they are ready to burst. <clears throat> Climax now! Fire! Wow. Wow. He set it up. Oh, dear. It is a mind-staggering climax which seemingly shatters the very skies themselves. <laughs> oh, my. It is the, it is the oh, climax of total madness. The scream of utter defeat. Scream! The agony of defeat. <laughs> but it echoes for only one heart-rending moment. Oh, no. <clears throat> for <coughs> the next moment, it is gone. <laughs> ah, it worked. Great Athena, it worked. Yo, couldn't last another second. Man, I'm totally drained. Thanks, Jaffa. But it was so worth it. I bet it was. <laughs> Hold it. Arilla, she's heading toward the dimensional doorway. Hera, what is she doing? There was never any other way, my Ian friends. I could not return to Azareth. Thus <coughs> I my sacrifice be for the good of war. Doesn't he feed off negative emotions? So, like... Yeah. I'll escape with her then. Yeah. Uh, who's, that, who's that saying that? Is that her me? Mother. Or... Oh, no, that's Raven. 
That'd be Raven. But does he call? Does she call her a relative? She was the mom. Yeah. She was the mother or something. Yeah, yeah, she? yeah. I don't know. It's probably Robin. I, would, I, I, I'd I say it's Robin. Robin. Wait, hot lady, don't go. <laughs> It is Robin's Plea, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, right. Robin's Plea comes too late for it, even as the <laughs> hot lady. Hot lady? Yeah, she's hot lady. Oh, hot lady. I thought you said hot lady. For even as the slim figure bridges the gulf between dimensions, the giant portal explodes with impossible fury. And in an instant, this no more. Mm-hmm. Portals are bed exploding. Meanwhile. Holy crud. You guys forgot about me? It took everything I had, but Bowser's down for the count. Only I pity whoever they pick as his keeper when he finally wakes up. Raven! I don't understand. What was that all about? Why did your mother... As she said, she had no other choice. Wow. She's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Raven told me about it when I brought her here. Truman could have escaped back through that dimensional doorway if something didn't block his path. But now my mother guards the bridge, as she must for all eternity. She, who, believe in, who believed in peace, must now be forever at war. What's with these seed having people locked in it in eternal wars? Mm -hmm. let's, let's Truman be permitted to ever be free again. And somewhere in a dimension beyond time and space, a war begins that will never see an end. Wow. Dun, dun. Dun. Like this reading. Yep, indeed. No. Just okay. <laughs> Next issue: Assault on Titan's Tower. It'll be good. As if so, that wasn't. That Jeez. was good. Yeah, that was very well written. The old dragon. The old dragon saying, "I don't know if I read the Wikipedia for this, or I actually read the book." <laughs> Honestly, wow. I've never read this book before. I've never I'm either. Sure. Wow. I have. I've, I've, wa I've watched the cartoon version. <laughs> that, that's a shock. Well, it was shorter than his reading. <laughs> well, that's yeah, yeah, I I'm can't saying. argue that. It was like 20 that's minutes like long. Three episodes without one reading. Right? <laughs> right? Yes, All right. Glad to see that Amy made it back. One piece. <laughs> I thought yeah, she I snuck back in there. I, know. I was like, yeah. <laughs> my theory's correct. They're the same person. They're just they I think voices. I think we have one <laughs> Lester that has split personalities. I really, I'm starting to believe that. <laughs> I guess Fun Casey got really good at doing Starfire's voice. Her actual name is Angela Lester, but sometimes she's Melissa and sometimes mm -hmm. she's Amy. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Oh, so wow, she's a ventriloquist. Too. Actually, her name's Gary. She's 40 years old. <laughs> <in life. laughs> Gary well. Lester Lester. <laughs> Gary Lester. <laughs> Nickname Butch. <laughs> I want to say thank you for everybody who's watching. Still, uh, uh, Rhaegar, thank you for being here. Uh, thank Kwan. you for being our aunt friend, Rhaegar. Also, yeah. uh, all Shout those, out yeah. to uh, uh, Qu Qu Tavia, RF. Thank you for showing up earlier. Uh, also, uh, Kelly Comics, what's up? And uh, Ethereum Dragon. And pretty much, I think that's it. <coughs> else popped up in the chat here. But uh, yeah, Drager saying this uh, this Trigon stuff was pretty well written, man. Yes, it was. It was. Mm -hmm. That was that was intense. I was like, "Yeah, this is a book for teenage." Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. when you get to that little girl, right? Like it's, yeah. yeah, that was DC started pulling no punches in the eighties. That, that wasn't in the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? I think the closest I that... uh, in the cartoon was when Darkseid zapped that guy in the Superman series. I can't remember that guy, but 
Uh, Super Bowl. Good. But I mean, like, I know and they, and the Dan recent Turpin. the recent thing they did with Trigun was having that one Damian join the you mm-hmm. know the Titans or the, or the Young Justice, whatever you want to call them. And like he had the and the uh, Raven had uh, Trigun trapped in the gem inside her forehead. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Excuse me, sorry. And then they followed it up. They had up with the Judas contract. <laughs> yeah, they were all. Well, yeah, some of those DC movies are pretty dark. Which we will get there soon, kids. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna keep ri- reading Robin the way he is, the high pitched voice. As soon as he becomes Nightwing, that's when his balls drop. Because <laughs> yeah. he has, no longer has the tight pants anymore. <laughs> Yeah, right. He no longer shares a bed with Bruce Wayne either. <laughs> oh, imagine they did this instead of Teen Titans Go, dude. They were gonna get there soon. Um, if they would have this another season of Teen Titans instead of doing Teen Titans Go, man, it would have been so awesome. But I, I, I guess they figured they could get make more money by targeting kids who don't even watch the show. Yeah. But anyway. Oh. Anyway, anyway, uh, I hope you guys had uh, fun. I did. I did. Um, mm-hmm. I always do. <clears throat> Tomorrow night there will be two readings, as far as I'm aware. I only know the first one. The first one's going to be like X Men, or at least one of them. Mm-hmm. The next I- next episode or next <sighs> issue of X Men, which I believe is issue sixteen, I think. Something like that. Yeah, with with the uh, Governor Mold. <laughs> <laughs> Be the final wrap up of that story, and uh, then check for some Darkwing uh, Duck this Monday night. Oh, oh, it's gonna be Darkwing. So we're doing the crossover. Do the crossover. Oh, that's right. Dangerous Currency. Ooh. The 2011 uh, crossover event. Oh yeah, we 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 should we got to do a DC Marvel crossover book sometime. We we just got. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Breen has in for for a Superman, uh, Spider Man yeah. crossover. The one that would be kind of cool would be the Teen Titans X Men crossover. Yeah, that would be good. That would that would be a full evening though. That, yeah, thing, would. that thing is huge. Yeah, we might have to split that up into two parts. Uh, yeah, we probably would. But it's it's, it's well, really. Yeah, I mean, if if we want to go, you know, I'd like longer. to do JL Avengers too. I'd like that, that's my favorite. One. <laughs> that would that would take two nights per issue. No, we just have to do like one that is the wordiest. It is because oh, I'm I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna go get something to eat and then maybe go check out the auction. Yeah, okay. me too. I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. Go to bed. No. But uh, thank you guys for showing up. We're gonna end it right now. We'll see you tomorrow night. I will see you. I'll see you Monday. See you Monday. I'll see you real soon. Emily.